All right, let's bring in now Sky News host, <laughs> Liz Stora, and contributor Joe Hildebrandt. I hope Breathing. that, I hope that last <laughs> I think, I think, I think I'm across your position. Yeah, I think I'm across your position. <laughs> would, would, um, would, would Joe... It's not a great look, is it? This is hypocrisy, <laughs> and both of them pretend to care about the environment. They want everyone else to pay about the, to pay for the environment but not themselves. Yeah, look, I think, uh, as usual, I'm going to disappoint everyone by sort of coming in somewhere Joe, in the middle here. Oh, don't well, do well, well, it. Here we are, here we are. Um, I, th I think, look, there, there is an argument, you know, a, a, a Prime Minister's time is precious. We don't expect them to drive or take the bus like the rest of us, and they do have to get to places. A faster. commercial is, flight is 208 is the, bucks. The, to Newcastle. 208 and I saw Bridget, bucks. Was it Bridget McKenzie who said that. That's, uh, that, is, that is absurd. Newcastle and Scone a, a two-hour drive away. You might as well not take a plane at all if you're going to fly to Newcastle and then get in the car for two but hours. But you mean to tell me there wasn't a more affordable option between private jets and some well, sort P, of the commercial PM, arrangement? The PM has Air Force One. He has his own jet. So unless you're, unless you're calling for that to be taken away... Toto One, to, by the way. Toto One. But everyone has to take else, an Uber everywhere. Everyone else has to but queue they, up in airport queues, but the Prime Minister well, the prime, is so out of touch. He's the leader he's of the country. He's not like everyone else. Everyone's but having, busy. Having, having said that, um, taking two... You know, as Lady Bracknell said, you know, or to paraphrase her perhaps, to take one private jet may be necessary, but to take two looks like carelessness. And... Why you wouldn't... I mean, the Prime Minister's security detail, I'm pretty sure I'm not giving away any national security details, is not 14 uh, no. protective services officers. So um, I cannot for the life of me understand why they couldn't have got everyone on one private jet or indeed some of the other staffers, you know, could have gone a slower way um, just so you didn't have that awful, awful image. I mean, anyone who knows anything about this issue knows that climate change and private jets do not go together. Every time Prince Harry jumps on one, every mm. time they all rock into Davos... It's a horrible, horrible, horrible look. And, frankly, for two smart men, they should have known better. Liz Stora? Especially when you're going there to say, and this is what he said after his energy minister and himself flew there on two separate private jets, it is not negotiable, it is necessary. Talking about net zero. I mean, do me a favour, mate. I love these kind of stories because it shows up the complete hypocrisy. You just go, oh, well, clearly the emergency's over, if there ever was one, because they want everyone else to believe that there's an emergency and everything matters. Mm. Every minute detail of your life now matters and we will dictate to you what your emissions footprint is and all this nonsense while they jet around like it doesn't matter. Also, how tone deaf can you be in the middle of a cost of living crisis, splurging $100,000 of tax taxpayer money, hard-earned dollars by you and I and everybody else out there, the median wage in this country is just 65K. That's more than most people ever hope to earn yes. in a year and you just splurged it on having Good you, point. your staffers and all your security guys pack into two jets. It is completely inexcusable. How much respect would these men garner if they actually took the low road, if they had done this presser, not out in the Hunter Valley, but in Canberra. And if anyone wanted explanations for that, they could simply say, we are saving the taxpayer money. Mm. Because when I ran an organisation that was completely donor-funded, I behaved like it. I didn't well, catch business class. I respected the fact the thing. that every single dime mm. I wasn't earning, it was off the backs of people who believed in the cause. And when every single cent you're spending is taxpayer money, why don't you show us the respect that we deserve while you're spending the money that we've earned? It's mm. disgusting. Mm. I mean, a lot of people talk about no one more so than Anthony Albanese himself talks exactly. about his um, humble upbringings. And it is an incredible story. But he has been in politics for more than two decades now and nothing shows that he's become more out of touch than something like this, where they don't give mm. a second thought about taking two private jets, massive waste of money... Joe. Yeah, I think clear, clearly their brains just weren't functioning. They're properly just used they to the that. lifestyle. Yeah, that's of right. They just, jets. That's right. I don't think they thought, ah, let's just take all the private jets we can. No, they're, they're they just, just used didn't. To it. They just didn't think. And look again, the prime minister is always going to have special travel, special accommodation. They just didn't think. Needs. They talk about but, nothing else yeah, but no, the climate I... emergency and making ridiculous policies that everybody else has to bleed out of every yeah. orifice but, to but, afford, but, Joe. To be, so you to can't be, say, fair, though, oh, no, they just weren't but, thinking. But the, but the PM has also taken ownership of that electric vehicle uh, program and 
brought it down so that it doesn't catch the electric the vehicle, vehicle so program are, is actually uh, the least of our so problems. That, what that they have done the to the energy story, prices though. in this country in the name yes. of their green dream is abhorrent. And for them to be behaving I, like this while everybody else is paying for their ridiculous policies... Well, think, clear, clearly we do, we do need to manage the story, though, is that because, that the, way to but because the Prime yeah. Minister came in and stepped on Chris Bowen's toes in trying to clean up his electric vehicle mess. I think there was some suggestion uh, in the reports today um, that there might have been tensions and that might have been why they were taking separate planes. They're not talking to each other. Oh, great. I, I, I wouldn't have thought <laughs> That's so. That's uh, why we had to pay have, 100K. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought so. The PM, Chris Stephen Bowen, Rose. pardon me, uh, I can assure you are very, very close. They were both part of, you know, their alliance, their allegiances to each other, both date back to Team Rudd about 15 more years ago um, when, um, and Julia Gillard, of course, when, famously... When they rolled when, when, Beasley. When, when they, well, they did roll Kim Beasley. And then when Gillard um, and her supporters rolled Kevin Rudd, mm. Bowen's, the price for Bowen's um, loyalty to Rudd was that he was made immigration minister and so forced to eat a certain type of sandwich.